Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Reggae of Yourself podcast with me, your host, the future man and people. We have got the son of one of the greatest reggae artists to ever grace the face of the earth. A man called Juna Holt, no doubt the son of the great, great John Holt. Good afternoon. How are you? Bless every brother. Yes, man. Yeah, man. Thank yes, you so I much. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. And um, yes, I'm looking forward to know more about your story than I already do and to introduce you to all of those people who don't yes. know yet. Yes. So you are, first and foremost, you're a son of um, John Hold. Um, where exactly in Jamaica are you from? Originally, Maxfield Avenue, you know, Kingston 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, right, some funny Glen Road, yeah. All right, and I have, <laughs> I have um, checked out some, um, did a bit of research myself, and you was living, where is it, in West Milan at some point? Yes, yes, I went down there as a youngster, about mm -hmm. seven year old, and I was living with grandma, you know, for a okay. couple of years down there and thing, yes. So, yeah, man you, of the West. <laughs> were you sent down there because of behavior? <laughs> no, 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 granny, grandma just take me as first grandson, first grandson at the moment, and you know that go already. Grandma yeah. love fake first grandchild. You know me I say her name really. And you know, yeah. she had moved down from Kingston. She was moving down from Kingston going down to the country. And yeah. she said she wanted a little companion. So I, I went with her. You know, so that's yeah. how I ended up in the country there, yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. So, mm. so um you're the first grandson. Um, because you mentioned grandson, does this mean that you're not the first um child of John Holt? Not the first child. I have a sister who is um Older than me by a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So base so basically, how many kids has John Holt has? Well, I I acknowledge um 13 wow. at this moment. 13. It sounds yeah. like you was not only busy making music. <laughs> <laughs> so it go my brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um what was it like even from a young age moving from Kingston to go live in Westmoreland? Well, you know, at the moment, at the moment still I was a little kid still. So I, I never really understand much of what was going on around me, you know. Okay. You know, it's when I it's when I start to get a little older you now and start to realize and notice things going on around me you now, you know. Mm -hmm. That's when I notice well, you know, I am not I am not in the capital no more. I'm with I'm with grandmother, you know. So okay. I was starting to ask questions now about mommy and daddy and them things. So I, I said, come on. <laughs> so I am, I'm not going to like, obviously we're going to talk a bit about your father. I'm not going to put too much in it, but I'm pretty sure everybody would like to know more about him as well. Yes. So I want to ask you, if when you was that young, were you conscious that your dad was like a world famous superstar? No, no, no. Wasn't conscious at the moment. I've seen him a few times and thing. Yeah. But I wasn't conscious at the moment, Brasta. It's when I actually become a teenager. Yeah. I start to see guy. Eh? I start to realize what I go on. You know, okay. at the moment, say. <laughs> you know, things the world around me is, is is not how it seems when I was looking at it. So yeah. it, it's really a teenager thing I start to realize. You yeah. know, who John Hood is. Yeah. Okay. All <laughs> yes, right. Sir. So Basically, so you let's go back down into West Milan. You down in West Milan, living up until your uh, like age of teenage years and things like that. Were you doing around? Music? Were you singing as a, at a as a teenager or not? No, cause I leave. No, I leave. I leave West Milan at the age of fourteen, mm -hmm. and went back to the Kingston, and uh, to live with to, we live with my mommy, and then I uh, start to go in school there. So mm -hmm. at the moment, I. I still wasn't doing music at the moment. I never even know myself at the moment yet as a, as an artist. Okay. You know, I never, I never find myself. I never okay. find myself at yet. But I had, I had a love for music, though. Okay. You know, so I knew, I knew, I knew I was destined to something because when I listen to certain songs, I yeah. think it make me feel a little different inside. You know, me I say, and mm -hmm. I know I say, it is not normal. You know, so yes. I knew I was destined for something, but I never, I wasn't aware of it at the time. You know. Okay. Yes, I, Yes, so, I. Who were some of the artists that was inspiring you at that time? Growing up as a, you mean as a teenager? Um, yeah, and, and starting yeah. to really feel the music, you know, artists that. Dennis, you... D Brown, 
mm-hmm. Dennis Brown, Ken Booth, Gregory, mm-hmm. you know, and um, there's Delroy Wilson. And um, at the moment, uh, it was like um, Wailing Souls, you know, them kind of group there, you know, and, you mm-hmm. know, that, that, you know, them, because it was, we're talking about early 80s right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So how did it all start it out for you then, your musical journey? Because, you know, you started a little bit later than um, some of the yeah, no. guys yes. in Jamaica. Yes, started around 21. Around you know, 21. When- when he was about 21, and how did that how did that come about? Well, you know what happened? I went back for a visit mm-hmm. to, to the to, to the country, you know, Westmoreland for a visit grandma cars. And then I end up at a party one night. Yes. You know, when a big sound system was playing and you know, big things going on, and the, the DJ who was running the sound system, you know, he knew who I was. Yes. So he comes to me and say, if you want to sing on a rhythm. And I said, me? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, yeah, John Oak boy. Oh, yeah, John Oak boy. I want to sing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it so happens say, uh, him coaxed me into it. And I yeah. end up doing it. You know, it never come out the best way I'd expect it because the first time thing. And yeah. I was very shy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, very, yeah, nervous. Yeah. But the first, the first try that I did was Love I Can Feel. On the radio, okay. nobody can yeah, that was my first shot. Yeah, and it was, it was one of my favorite father songs. Okay, yeah, man, that's a massive, um, massive, massive hits worldwide, even till this day. It's yes. a, a timeless song. Yes, so, so until that DJ, um, call you offering the mic, asking you to sing, you mm-hmm. wasn't aware, you wasn't aware whether or not you could sing. I wasn't aware, Rasta. I'm telling you, but, 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 but you know what happened? <laughs> to, listening, listening to that song, listening to Love I Can Feel constantly, you know. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of developed the sound in my head. Yeah. And the pitch. Yeah. So hearing the, hearing the rhythm playing now and getting ready now to go into it now, mm-hmm. I decided from there, quick, 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 say, no, I can't start off this thing on a low thing. So yeah. I have to go here with it just like father. So mm-hmm. open them out and say, I want the love I can feel, you know, and yeah. start going out and some some part of it, you know, nerve, you know, nervous, you know. But that's where I start to find out now where my son is. Yeah. And I never leave, I never leave it from there. I I I I keep following up now the sound systems now. Mm-hmm. And I don't even wait till anybody asks me. I go to the DJ and say, yo. You're on, you're on the mic later. Call me up. Yeah. And that is how I start going to it. And then, you know, going on some little corners, you know, we have some little, you know, your yard man always have a little sound system set up somewhere. Yeah, you know, you, you, go check, you go check out. You know, you go go and you say, well, I'm going to read him a rude boy. And I practice. And I from, I write, to, be, to, to, to be honest with you, yes. from, that, from, that, from that night when the Virgin called me up and introduced me to the, to the thing, you know, yeah. I, don't, I don't leave it from this up. Because that night when I leave and I go in home, you know, I felt a different feeling and say, yes. this is something I'm going to have to do. So yeah. I, make it my, I make it my duty now to follow up now with the sound system now and hold the microphone and mm-hmm. do my thing and develop. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I never ever asked my father how he do it, you know. I yeah. figure it out myself. Yes. yes. All right, so... Well, before we go any further, because you mentioned him again, I want to know when you go to him and tell him, say, boy, daddy, you know, say this music thing, you want to get a shot. What him say? Well, he never have no problem with it, no. He just said to myself, he just make sure he keep practicing and mm-hmm. approach it the right way. Yeah. You know, and approach it. And you know, I John not that. So yeah. you really have to approach it the right way because you don't want to go there and you don't want to do any flop thing, you know, and make him look bad. You know, yeah. I say, make sure, tell me, say, Keep practicing. Can you listen to me and him say, yeah. you, want, so you have some little area where you need to touch up on. Yeah. So let's go and practice, man. Yeah. And he even, even, even scribbled, uh, to be honest with you, he mm. scribbled on, him scribbled on two, um, two lines, you know, and, and give me one time and said to me, so let's go and practice them line there, you know. Yeah. And he have me for, for a whole month, me actually up on the two lines, and I sing, 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 over and over and over and over, you know. Yeah. You see me, I say, yeah, man. I can't mean, can forget it, you know. Give me a thing, say, Yes, Ja, yes, Ja, yes, Ja, we love you. Yes, Ja, yes. 
<laughs> but I don't want the easier. Well, yeah. I tell you, yeah, man, you give me two lines and say, let's keep doing this, man. Yes, Ja, yes, Ja, yes, Ja, we love you. Yes, Ja, yes, Ja, yes, Ja, we love you. You know what I mean? Yeah. We keep doing that. And yeah, you have me for a whole month. Me, I tell you, yeah, man. And it's but good it's really lines good. as well, very positive lines yeah. as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of embedded, yeah. embedded the love of yes. Ja inside of your mind Here and you go. going forward, you know? Yes. You don't lose yes. yourself. <laughs> mm -mm. You know mm -mm. what I mean? Yes, I. That's, that's amazing. So, has he ever has he ever bring you on in this in the stage with him? Yes. Um. Yes. Before he passed away, I think it was two thousand um six or seven. I don't remember, but yeah. in New York City, in um a place named Club Crystal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was called up and said by him to share um the song Stealing Stealing. Okay. It will make you run until you want to cry. Yeah. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, I'm going to go up and I'm going to sing like half fight and give him the mic and him finish up and walk right, off. Now, ask, I'm, I'm not <laughs> asking another question yet. You have to sing a piece of that song. You have to sing a piece of that song before going in further. I think anybody yeah. else can do them two lines or more than that. So before going in further, <laughs> give me something on that. Uh, <laughs> All right. <coughs> On the silent steps, it will creep up on you in a mystic form. It will kiss you too. It will make you run until you want to cry. Hurt yourself, make you want to sigh. Be careful, be careful. Love gets a hold on you like a thief in the night. Stealing, stealing, stealing. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on. Dude, <laughs> let me turn yeah. on this light. Yes, I. Dude. Yeah, man. Yes, brother. That is a nice, it's a nice. Yo, you got the tone as well, you know. You couldn't say your jacket. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, I. So, all mm -hmm. right, then. Let's go back to you as well. So, it started out your... um. First night, you go perform DJ call you up in Westmoreland on a sound system. You go sing a mm -hmm. song. You kind of get the, um, a buzz for, for it from there on. Go to a lot mm -hmm. of small sound system within your community and outside mm -hmm. of the community and things like this. So progress start to make. So within all of this time now, at what stage did you say, all right, I want to go in studio and I want to record a song? All right. Um... I always wanted to go to the studio, um, you know, just to go and, you know, do a thing still. Yeah. But I never really get the chance because with, with, with Pops now, mm -hmm. that man usually fly out a lot. So he never really have the chance. So yeah. it was my mother, my mother now, who yeah. was um, a 12 tribe back in the days, 12 tribe. Okay. Jalo. You remember, you remember them days, the Jalo Come dance, on. Jalo. You know, all right. all right. And my old lady was a 12 tribe at the moment. And um, she and the whole lot of, you know, Rastafarians and things, you know, used to hang out and things. So there was a, there was a bridge in a, in a group named Sky High. Yeah. Which is, which is currently, um, the mall is the um, road manager. Sky okay. High from the mama. Okay. Yes. He was the one who, who my mother um, mentioned. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, no, he was, he just started out some producing, you know, he started out with the label Sky High and Mama. Yeah. And then that's my very first time going to Tough Gang Records. Okay. Tough Gang, yes. Tough Gang Studio mm -hmm. and recorded um, three songs with this yeah. bridge in. Yeah. And the very, the very first song that we decided to do over was The Love I Can Feel. Mm -hmm. And then we went to um, another John Holt song, which is entitled I'm Your Man. And yeah. uh, we did an original. So that was my, that, we're talking about 1987 going into 88. Okay. That was my first time mm -hmm. um, doing, a, doing my recording, very first recordings yeah. at the moment. Yes. So your first, so your first, um, you record um, three songs in the studio. Um, were, they, were they released? Which, one, which was your first yes. release? The, the, the Bridgen released them. He released mm -hmm. the trailer and he did put out an album. Okay. You know, and I and to what to my knowledge, because he's a guy that travel a lot, go to England and places. I guess him put them out over there, and you know, I get to understand that it was it was released in New York City, you yeah. know, and, um, and um, in Jamaica, it was in the record stores in Jamaica. But to be honest with you, I never actually hear them play on the radio in Jamaica. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. You know, that's the honest thing right there. I'm telling you about that. No, he did put them out because if yeah. I receive a, a box with around 12 of the CDs a minute, yeah. so I could have give them out to friends and, you know, and all them good stuff. Yeah. You said yes. CD, that, that point was talking mm-hmm. about 45, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, record. Freeze it, freeze Final. it. Final. Uh, come on. At this, um, oh, yeah, so we're having a bit of a technical <laughs> difficulty, people. But yeah, eh? so I, I was saying, I was saying at that time, we when you said CD, I would just want to like confirm. For no, people. no, I mean, I mean Listen, vinyl, vinyl, yeah. vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. I thought, vinyl, I thought yeah, so, vinyl, I thought you're so, right, I thought so, vinyl, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're right, you're right man, because yeah, it, man. it was in the nine, it was in the nineties when yeah. CD start coming. Then he um he remastered them over and then give us. Give I man some pan of CD. You're right, okay. man. It was yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. So I'm just <laughs> clear it up, you know. You know. <laughs> All right. So also, also as well, that very first original that you did in the studio. Mm-hmm. Can you remember that song? Yes. Um, it's a song entitled May I Have This Dance With You. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find the melody. Um, mm. May I have this dance with you? May I have this chance with you? Something like that. And then I've been watching you all night long on the dance floor with everyone. All I want is to dance with you. Let this be a dance we do. Something like that. It yeah, was yeah, a really long yeah, time yeah. ago. Yeah, man. Come yeah, on, right. come on to me, woman. May I have <laughs> this dance with you? Something like that. Yeah, man. And I think nice, we, I think nice right, one of right. them. Yeah, we write it. We write it right on the spot, team, in the studio. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, yes, we, we did it right on the spot. Nice tune for the ladies, there, you know. <laughs> yes, man. <Yeah. laughs> and yeah, at the man. moment, at the moment, at the moment in the studio, you know, it was. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a couple members from. Um, we have Leroy Harsmout Wallace. Yeah. And um, he was a drummer, and we have um, Lyle Obia Denton from Rhythm Kings. He was the one who was playing keyboards and. And them thing. And um, we had um Gary Sutherland, who is the brother of Nadine Sutherland in the studio. Okay. You know, at the moment he was he was just learning the engineering thing. And, mm-hmm. and we have Dave Kelly. Dave Kelly too from um Penthouse. Yeah. You know, he was at the time young guy to learning the business. Yeah. Just, you know, it was an experience at the moment. Yeah, man, that's all amazing. <laughs> I heard of Dave Kelly quite a lot as well, because being the man always I mentioned him. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, how many, how many uh, members of the family also went down the music road? Right now, yeah. Um, otherwise, otherwise, from from my father, it's me, a brother that follows me, and uh, my son, and and my brother's daughter, four of us. Yeah, Brian Holt, Bam Holt, Brian Holt, and I am. Okay, so um, which one of them is your son? Which one of the Holt is your son? Bam. Bam Holt. But, yes. So is he, is he a singer or a producer or? He's a, he's actually a multitask, yeah. You know, okay. he produce, keep show, mm-hmm. donate to charity um, programs. Yeah. You know, and he's also an artist, you know. You know okay, rap, wicked. Rap, he rap with him like a crossover. I mean, the yardy and the, and, the, and the rap and the twang. You know, as well we call okay, it. Okay, yes. okay, yes. okay. All yeah, right. Man. Yeah, man, yeah. if he's about, hopefully we can catch up with him in a minute. In a bit as in well. In the boat. In the right. boat, man. All right, yeah, so man. no more. So, and Brianna, okay. Brianna will there too if you want to talk to her also. That sound beautiful. That sound beautiful. That sound Let's beautiful. See. Definitely. Definitely. It's, very, mm-hmm. you know, and it's a joyful moment to bring forward, um, you know, yes. people of the legends, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Damn yeah, man. Going on as well, you know what I mean? I've been lucky to meet a few of Bob Marley um, kids as well over the years. Yes, and that's a joy yes, yes. Thing. John Walt is massive, massive, massive. He got so much fans like around the world and in England, he oh, yes. him like crazy because he yes. sings all of those love songs. And when it comes to reggae music, um, at least back in the um, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, reggae, lovers rock is like the yes. biggest thing. Obviously, you always have these um, hit song, dance all songs who appear on the scene every now and then. But until yeah. now, it's still all about the love songs, you know what I mean? When yes. it comes to reggae music in the UK, you can name yes. the um, the dancehall artists that done great in the UK and um, yes. and Ten Fingers over the last 10 years. You know what I mean? Yes. It's normally the same person doing great, not a lot of people, but when it comes to Lovers Rock, 
I love yes. us rock from anywhere you go, you go here. I love us rock, and anywhere you go, you go here. John Holt as well. I saw about three of his CD in a shop yesterday, actually. And I said, yes. I actually am speaking to his son tomorrow, you know. Of course, yeah, man. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let's pick up back where we dropped off from your three songs. Um, yes, those songs you, um, there was the early days, you wasn't exactly sure how well those songs have done because back in them days, it wasn't like now where you have social media where right. you can keep a track on things and how things are going yes. on. Um, yes. what, what happened from there? Did you go on to record more? Did you go do some shows? What happened? All right. Yes. Actually, um, I started to like, um, after recording them songs, you know, Sky High, you know, I got more busier from that time, you mm -hmm. know, because, you know, touring with the Marlies them and so forth. Yeah. And then, um, yes. In, and, and to be, um, actually, you know, um, in 1992, but before I go there, so though, after the recording, you know, the 80s, the 87, 88, now I start to, um, I end up living in um, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Yeah. Yes. And um, I met up now with, with, with some, some guys, some guys over there who was into the music, you know, like you talk about Hammer Mouth and, um, and um, let me see, Zanadu and um, Little Chris and um, quite a few guys over there, you know, they, you know, uh, matter of fact, very important. I can't make this one pass. Yes. I know you know about I know you know about Chronicle, which is Chronic's Chronic, father. Chronic's dad, yes. Ah, uh, well, mm. Chronicle was the one who, when I went to Spanish Town, he was the one who took me and 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 bring me to a studio named K and D that they call Miami Vice Studio, which was actually yeah. a dub studio. Mm -hmm. And when they found out who I was, the yes. amount of dub plate, the amount of dub plate where I end up start do <laughs> in that studio, my lad. I just had yeah. to do a dub piece in the car when the man in final say ah, John Wilson and then they look a sound like John Wilson now and you know I, them start putting upon the bam bam rhythm, the answer rhythm, the yeah. puna and the rhythm. The, yeah. the, you know me yeah. I say on the far yeah. east and the ray ray and and, yes, and, and, and I speed up the I speed up the John Wilson dub them upon them rhythm you know, and I mash up dance all in you know, the king. Man. Yeah. So yeah. I saw him yeah. name now, I saw him and name start develop now around the in the Spanish town saying Catherine now, you know. Yeah. Everywhere we go, now, everybody know a junior world that you know. Yes. You see me say, and then we start venture back in the Kingston now. Mm -hmm. See, when we start link up now, you know, with with Quenched, you know me I say run it to it. Yeah. You know me man. I say me end up me end up me end up meet Sanchez now. Yeah. See, and yes, man, end up meet Sanchez now, and then me and him turn bridging. Yeah. See, you see me I say and him weird, and you yeah. know, so it developed that weird. But at the time, we still never had a recording though. Okay. A sugar man at a sugar man at no a man camera going at on a on a youth promotion no but, mm -hmm. but me sugar man at yeah my voice too tune for him mm -hmm. but to be honest with you I don't know where them song they go you know yeah. I'm not going to me not like enough man say so, yeah man they release a so, man no me not gonna tell you that I yeah. don't know what happened to them because I don't hear them back from that yeah them end up no they end up no record for skull man. Mm -hmm. Them was in them him have a label named Simon label and at them him and him brother used to run Bada Clash with Ninja okay. Man both. Aye. Yeah man, Bada Clash. Ninja Man did a song about it as well, innit? Bada yes. Clash. Bada Clash. Yes. Aye. <laughs> so them you then know, okay, go a studio and I'm gonna end up the record two John Old song with the with Skullman now when, when DJ and, and he definitely put out them song there. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Hear them in Jamaica. I'm gonna sing back over um I'm gonna wear you to the ball tonight. Put on your best dress tonight. And in my DJ night. Yeah, you know man, you know, say, you know, say, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I heard that one, but I thought it was your dad doing it. No, man, because I mean, it's, I mean, it's I mean, I'm like a dance hall thing with them skull. Yes, I'm your skull man, slap it, man. I okay. I, yeah, I, thought that, I thought that was John Holt. <laughs> yeah, I, that is for sure the closest of the voice at them time. They got everybody used to, yeah. Let me tell you something, my brother. Yeah. The man him used to come, come check me for dub, you know. And when I yeah. sing the song, them, you know, the man him no want me, know this, the man him no want me, if he talking at the song, them, they know, so I'm going to start singing, you know. <laughs> I just, I'm going to start finding the trick in it, you know. They want to you know, me, they are dance now. Yeah, and and Stacey, so come as a man used to go a dance. No, go stand up and hold a vibes and go, and I listen when I go on. I mean, yeah. hear the man in draw a dub, you know. And the man is a step cross John Walt. Well, I know John Walt I sing. Come here, my voice and know me. I'm yeah. a stand up there. I'm a stand up there. Actually, I watch people up on boo 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 forward. Boom. I mean, I say what a thing, sir. Cut you out yes, of the right. song. Discredit yes, you. Right. Discredit you for the hype. 
Yeah. Then when I tell him, man, Mr. What I think, sir, but I'm never too far enough for him to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. man. Yes, I. So I that, I that I go on King. Yeah. So in the nineties now, you know, and then no meeting Skullman now gave me the opportunity now mm-hmm. to, to, to sing on Border Clash 93, which was um which held in Fort Clarence. Yeah. That is how that is how I get to meet Bounty Killer, who, who was just coming out at the time with Copper Shot. Yeah. And um and Lady Sa was just coming out at the moment in her career too. Yeah. We're all sharing stage at the moment. Border yeah. Clash 1993. Yeah. Can never forget that man. And then after that, then um I, I get to I get introduced now to Sidella Mali from the gang. Yeah. And I, I I was signed, I was signed to her, you know, on a brief contract. Yeah. You know, because you know, yeah, because I had was some migrate come up here and and all them things there. So me and I never get to really complete any work still. Okay. You know, and then we about I was with them for a moment though, you know, and Sidella Mali yeah. is a is a great, great lady, good woman. Yeah. You know, I'm not to give her respect every time. And see the Mar- yeah, um, she's um who to Bob Marley? Bob Marley daughter. And she's okay. also the the seal for the for the for the whole gang. And she run the gang. See that? Okay. Yes, man. Okay, a good so- woman, man. Yeah, I'm on I'm on meet her Rasta and and, mm. and and she she deal diamond with respect and, and she deal diamond with you know with love. Good woman, you know, yeah, to give her blessings, yes, blessings, yes, blessings, blessings yes, to the whole Marley family, yes, well. man. Every time, man. Every yeah, man. Time, man. So then, yes, sir. So then, in the midst of this, you um migrated to the USA, yes, migrating to the USA. Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Coming on here, that question, and, Sorry, and um, so obviously, you leave Jamaica, getting into the USA, and I take it this is a case of starting all over again. In- Matter of fact, you're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Because when I when I come up when I come up here and I see all the place set, yeah, and I was like, wow, you know me. I say at one moment I was even looking forward to go back to Jamaica, yeah. But I say I say no happen. I'll come up here and go and see all, all this place I stay you know, in America. I may not get a next chance to come back up here, yeah. But it so happens say turn in my favor and I look good because I was introduced now to Cox and Dad, okay, Studio. yeah. By 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 Ansel Gridland from the meditations. Mm-hmm. Yes. And speaking of Ansel Gridland, at the moment in Tough Gang in Jamaica, when I was recording with Sky Eye, yeah. Ansel Gridland from the Meditations was also in the studio. And he also is is on two of the records that I do. Okay. And then when I when I come up here now, I get a number for him. Mm-hmm. Called him living at the Bronx. Yeah. I call. Mr. Juno will today and I say, yeah, man. Mr. Me Media Brooklyn. So okay, boom. And him come check I man. Yeah. And him carry me the same or carry me. He said, I'm carrying to introduce you to somebody. And I say, who you are talking about? He said, I'm not telling you, man. Yeah. And he carry me go down. <laughs> no studio one, man, Cox and Dad himself, man. <laughs> and when I and, and when I and when I when I went inside Cox and Dad place, there was mm-hmm. Ansel, um, not Ansel, Alton Ellis was sitting right here in the studio chair, chilling like this. Okay. And, and Alton, Alton know me from yard. And Alton said, wait, what, young old? Yeah, and man. The vibes, kick, the vibes kick off good, right? So. He's, he's an, and not to, not to cut him out, Alton Ellis, another incredible artist. One of his um friend is, uh one of his son, Troy Ellis, is a good friend of mine in the UK here. He's also a singer who sounded just like him. Yo, listen, don't yeah. go in the further future, man. Yeah. You, know how long, you know how long I want to link and him, Ellis, my lad, and you mentioned say you're bridging. Don't say nothing more. Try, uh, we need try a, Ellis. We need a, you make you when you see him, you tell him say Juno. We, we need a collab. Yeah, man. I, I'm, I'm going to ring. I'm going to ring him. Um, I'm yes. going to ring him at the end of this. At the end of this yes. interview. Um, I saw him a few weeks ago. Me and him, uh, his band and my band play at um, the Roman Radio Festival yes. together. Um, yes. Um, Actually, as a matter of fact, I am also um, the proud winner of one of our Elton Ellis Award. Let me show you. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> here it is. You can see him here. So I'm very proud. I'm a proud winner of one of the Elton yes. Ellis um, yes, sir, the yeah. UK Award. You know what I mean? So big yes, up Elton Ellis, I mean. the king. Yes, yeah, yes man. man. So <laughs> yes, man. a lot of yes, people man. don't know because I do the I interview people and stuff. A lot of people who don't know that don't know that I'm an artist who travel a lot myself and 
release seven studio albums and do all I'm on, things, you know what I mean? I'm on <laughs> check out the thing in the future, man. Yeah, yeah man. Man, good king, man. I love yeah, the man, thing. Give thanks. Yeah, man, I check out the thing long time with the high king. Give thanks, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Bless it, right. man. Bless it. So, let's get... Yeah. I just need to mention that, but let's get straight away. Let's get back to what happened with the soil, Alton All right, sir. Hmm. Yes. I'll, oh, okay. So, after me, after seeing Alton and the whole works now... Yes. Me and Coxy sit down now with all a quick conversation and him go back in some history now with John Holt. Because, you know, he prof- um, re- record John Holt album. I think that the same love I... Um, the stealing, stealing, I think that belonged to Coxon and, and some other songs and things. Yeah. And at the moment, I had five songs that I wanted to record. Mm-hmm. And I mentioned it to him. And within the following week, we went into production. Yeah. And at the moment, at the moment now coming from Jamaica, mm-hmm. it was this rhythm that was playing that's Sorry, um, we are, we seem to be having a little bit. Of, um, what name? And we right having, sorry, we had a little bit of um, technical difficulty there. Um, when you went to the rhythm from Jamaica, so if we pick it up back from the rhythm from Jamaica, please. Yes, yes. Have, um, the rhythm. Uh, this rhythm was running Jamaica at the moment. Yeah. Um, and dying of rhythm, and um, yeah. so I had a song for it. So yeah. we went in the studio and start to record. And Alton Ellis was the one who also coached me through the recording. Yeah. He was in the studio. Matter of fact, I did five songs for Coxon. Yes. And he released, he released two in New York. But, mm-hmm. I, but I'm sure about the, the one, Undying Love. Mm-hmm. And it go like this. Um, it's a song named I'm Still In Love With You. Yeah. You know, because, yeah, you know. And um, and he liked the song because the rhythm really belonged to him, the original rhythm. Yes. You know, so, yeah. Do, 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 do. Doop, doop, you know, Larry, yeah, so yeah, and yeah, released yeah. It in New York, yeah, man, released yeah, my voice, a song for it, say, and the first time that I saw you, you were all alone, sitting in the park with an ice cream cone, yeah, you were waiting for your lover to come and take you home, but he stood you up, my friend, and now you're lonely again, I'm still in love with you, you know, oh, babe. You know, yeah. and then we are not going at it. You know, and he, he loved that. He loved, he loved that song there, and he put, yeah. he make sure he put it out. You yeah. know, and then we and then after that, now, you know, we get for meet up. Um, before we go there, so mm-hmm. Cox and the go at Jamaica, and I think he me takes sick and yeah, you know, we really lose the link with him. And I go, be, I go lie to you still, but okay. yeah, I know, I don't know where him do with the other four, but mm-hmm. I know him did release the one and the Undying Love with him though. Okay. Then I then I then I met up now with the next producer over here. A young you with a try a thing. I'm just saying you know, up yeah. in go work with him still because most time I saw the thing broke off of course, sometime. Of course. You know me I did, so I work with him, but mm-hmm. we did a couple songs with him and thing, you know, and then we did, and he end up to go back to Jamaica. So yeah. film thing, right there. So then I met up now with a producer in a New Jersey, yeah. go by the name of Tronic One, where I did a whole entire album with him. Yes. The album is on Amazon and all and all over the place. But to be honest with you, future man, mm-hmm. the album could have do better in terms of mixing and mastering. And mm-hmm. I tell him and him put it out. And I, I lose interest in it because you see, yes. I like when my thing come out sounding good. Naturally. Seeing I represent John Walt. Represent John Walt and John Walt not sing bull crap, my lad. That's Everything true, that man they come out with. Even if I talk him, talk it, it sounds good. Yes, man. See, so more of my thing come out the same way. But the brother now, in a rushy, rushy thing, want to put out song to make money. Because, yeah. you know, so you're not a producer that, you're a reducer that. You yeah. see me I say? True. Yes. So from there now, wasn't doing anything in between them years. Eh? Was just doing shows. Yeah. You know, I did a lot of shows in Connecticut. Mm-hmm. I did quite a few in New York. Yeah. Seattle, New Jersey, mm-hmm. um, Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, yeah. you know, Florida. You know, I've been around a couple couple places. Yeah, yeah. But right now, current at this moment now, it's Volsa Fold, which belongs to my son, Bam. Mm-hmm. Right? And we, we just released an album, July 11th, right? And John Wolfert Strong. Okay. You know, Volsa mm-hmm. Fold, Volume 1. You know, I think it's a 12 track, um, 12 track album, which yeah. included, which include me and Bam himself. You know, we do a few collabs together. Yeah. You know, and all them good stuff there. You know, me, I say so. Oh, that's some collaboration. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So that that's is, amazing. So that is, 
Where eh? can people where can people find it? Where can people find this? The album? Yes. It's on it's on iTunes. It's on all all platforms right now. Okay, beautiful. And, and I got to clips, get that out. Couple clips, yeah, couple video clips is also on YouTube too. If they wanna go check yeah. it out, see us. And okay. you know that and you know we just do um Saturday this past Saturday we just do the tribute show for John. Old, yeah, yes. With Freddie McGregor and so forth. You know what I mean? I say anyway there. Eh? You know, which yeah. came out, came out, came out nice for our first time we're doing it. Yeah. Over in the USA. You know what I mean? I say because yes. the first time official general tribute in the, in the US. You know, we have family members who keep it in the UK. Yeah. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. like like his brothers and sisters, my father, brothers and sisters, they do the tribute in the UK. Yes. You know, and we the family, the sons, and so we do it over here in the US. Yeah. That's yeah, man. So sense. that's so that's where we is. So that's where we is right now. Okay. You know, with, with our thing right now, brother. Yeah, man. That sound that sound brilliant, man. Um, and it's such a joy to actually link up and get some of the stories. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, and now you know you started out, and uh, you know what I mean. Your father respond to that, and all kind of things like that's been absolutely yes. amazing. But I wanna I want you to introduce me as well to um your son. And um, um, is, is it is your son is your niece as well? I spoke I speak to your son first. I speak to Bamold first, and then um, Brianna. All Brianna. right, but and before I forget to you know, yes, but I know John Holt have a whole lot of fans in the UK and Europe all over the place. Yeah. So if for who for who never see the show, mm -hmm. they can go to SCK Media TV and mm -hmm. stream it, okay. and them don't miss nothing. You SC, know SCK we have Media TV. Yes, and we have so a special guest that passed through the Everton Glenda and, and, and Clementine. It was a nice vibe, you know. Bam was. Yes. Yeah. I'm here. Bam, bam, and you're coming. Yeah. Yes, man. So, All right. yeah, man. I'm just over there, right? And I'm ready. Yeah, man. Thank you. you. Know what I'm yeah, man. Well, give me a minute. We'll see, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Bam. Future, man. General. Greetings, Bam Holt. How are you doing? Everything up. Where are you? Yeah, man, everything is blessed, brother. You know, um, as you know, I've been speaking to your father and he told me about you and your mission in the music business as well. And I think um, it's absolutely amazing to find out what's going on in the third generation of the great Mr. John Holt. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So you are, you yourself, you're an artist and a producer. Yes. Are you one? Really, are you... Not really a producer, but not really yeah. the physical instrument, but I put together the put together all the, 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 the musicians to make a song that we run with. Well, that's so. what produce, that's what producing <laughs> is. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You don't necessarily have to be able to play the instrument yourself. If you know what you're looking mm -hmm. for, you yes. compose, you compose and, mm -hmm, and get mm -hmm. people to play. Yeah, that's absolutely, yeah, man. So are you, are you on this, are you on this um, lover's rock journey as well? Or are you like the younger generation these days going on some different track? No, I, I mix reggae with hip hop. Okay. So they're not really lovers rock, but like um the last project my father released, like I do like a newer version of police and helicopter where I DJ and yeah, a new version of stick by me. So I mix the mm -hmm. reggae with the hip hop. Can't leave the roots alone. Okay. So sometimes I so sometimes I rap, sometimes I put part to my night, mm -hmm. sometimes I DJ, sometimes I sing a little bit. All right, brother. Well, I know everybody <laughs> well watching and who is going to be listening on the radio want to know, uh, go on, because you make a lot of statements there that we need to um, exploit and see what's going yes. on there. So the first one, I'm going to give me a um, dancehall sound when you're chatting Patwa, but no swearing, please. <laughs> oh, so you want one of me, um, the dancehall song then? Yeah, man. We are gonna do our next piece and the next one as well, you know, because right now you, you said things that we need to show the people and what's yeah, going that's on. Yeah, whichever way you want, I we have dancers so and we have one drop. Yeah, so man. One of our dancers song them is Money you feel make we no afraid now. Yeah. So watch out for the jailhouse. Yeah, I scared money don't make no money, but just watch out for the jailhouse. Not for them a pre cause we live in the same town. Not for them a wonder cause we driving the bands now. They wanna come test me. Mama live life and she wealthy. Now she driving range of the Bentley. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I like that, I like that. All right, mm -hmm. now. So I think um we I have I have also discovered that you um you got the American twang in the rapping as well. So yet again, yeah. I would like to hear a bit of that. But and again, no swearing. Well, we're ready um, purposes. Let me see. Um, which some get them to read hip hop. Um, what realize 
Let me say, um, while I like this spliff, I came to realize, yeah, that Babylon always come out they place. Yeah, and while I like this spliff, I came to recognize, yeah, that I could never come in second place. Yeah, and I came to change the game. Call me marching man. You ain't never see mommy cry, so we can't think the same. Yeah, while I like this spliff, I came to realize that, that I can never come in second place. And yeah. Oh, go and I. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Respect, respect. Well, you know, you know what? Big respect to you because right now you didn't even know what was going to call you on this, mm -hmm. on this spotlight. Right? <laughs> but one. this is how one. you define a good artist is whether they're good yeah. to go at any given time. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yes, big respect brother. for that, man. Big respect <laughs> for that. So, what was what was it like for you? Because obviously, back in the day when your dad was growing up at a really young age, he didn't even realize how big his dad was. But then you would, I take it by them time, by the time your dad have you, you would have actually, he would have realized then you would have known that your granddad was a mega superstar, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. how, how was that for you, knowing that your dad, your granddad was such a superstar? Did he use it to yeah. chat up the girls at, at school or? <laughs> no, because um, I come to um, Brooklyn at a very early age. Yeah. So, um, but being from Flatbush, Brooklyn, where everybody is like, from an island heritage, it's basically mm -hmm. an island community. So everybody basically knows say, that I was John Hope grandson, but I was focused on the um American football. Okay. I did not play so I was so, but my whole life, my father been bringing me um backstage and yeah, but me there by Ken Boot and Freddie McGregor, and me there by all these artists and yes, me go in a restaurant and the music I play and me say oh that that. That's my granddad, and they were like a liar till I for sure ID and get free food. And it's much a general. Yeah, yeah. I play um uh, Grand Theft Auto. I play yeah. a Grand Theft Auto the um the video game and the music I play in the um in the video game while we are playing and people. So um it was always a pleasure to know yeah. say okay. that my granddad was a superstar. But I know I don't feel like I take it serious because I was like on the American football thing. So I be the one backstage like that. They come to go home now. And like millions of people are screaming up nice and yeah. me just want to go home for go play a video game. They're young. Yeah, you see yeah, me? Yeah. So when um God rest his soul, when him did pass away, yeah, and I see the gravity on the you know it's a, it's a new world we live in, like Instagram and Facebook yeah. and like it's a podcast and all these things. Yeah. When I see all these higher people and shaggy and bone to kill and France artists and big artists I put R.I.P. to the legend. Yes. I start start say, whoa. Maybe this is bigger than life. And all them things I've pop been telling me all this time. I joke, me, I joke with it. So yes, but but the thing is, <laughs> so now I realize and yeah, it's an honor. Honor, because honor. I, for me that grew up in Jamaica and I'm now um reside here in the UK, my entire life until now, I always know that John Holt was um and is one of um reggae in the reggae, I wouldn't even say top 10, probably top five, because it's only Bob Molly, Peter Touch, and um some of the other guys them that you would have said is exactly where is where he is. So, you know, this is this is no um small kind of thing or a mm -hmm. kind of artist that a few people might know. Janolt yes. is like a legend. Like my earliest memories of Janolt is being a really small kid and um Bob Clark is playing him all evening, every Sunday evening and um, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, that was like every you can't have a show, no radio show in Jamaica on a Sunday evening when they're playing them nice tune and yeah. John Holt is not on it. So you know what I mean? So so you start you you was a um baseball player, right? No, football. Football, American football player. Football. Yeah. Were you hoping to do that, go pro with that? Yeah, I was I went to college and and um all those things, but like I said, music always was calling me. So okay. It, I, I feel like I could have do it, but it wasn't something I dreamt about. Mm -hmm. So even like playing football, I still dream about stage and dream yeah. about. So it's like, no, it wasn't a purpose, but it take me far more. College and scholarship. And That's good, man. It's good. It's always, <laughs> it's always good to know when the youth do well in school and college and things like that. You know what I mean? It's always good mm -hmm. to have that education under your belt. So now, yes. basically, if people want to check you out, bam old. Yes. Where can they find you? Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Twitter, Google, iTunes, yeah. Amazon Music, Tidal. And everywhere. can you spell? Can you spell? Can you spell? Can you spell it out? Um, Bamhold, B A M M H O L T. 
Okay. Bumbo. And everything uh, everything is like that. Everything. Okay. All right, cool. Well, I too, I too will definitely go check out some of your tunes myself. You know what I mean? Come on, check it out, General. <laughs> and like I say, I got a lot of respect for you for just being put on the spot lot in like That's literally right. in seconds <laughs> after we start talking and didn't, you know, didn't shy away from actually doing the thing. So be yes, respectful. General. You know what I mean? Right, and yes. also as well, is it um your dad mentioned, is it Brianna Holt? Yes, yes, Great. we'll get her right now. Is um she about to be nice to um say yeah, a quick quick hello as well no and let people them over here in the UK and around the world who follow the reggae. Here she is. Just here she is right here. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Hey, Brianna. Good afternoon. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am doing very well. I'm even doing better now that I get to meet you because I'm having a very <laughs> wonderful day meeting so many people from the old family in one afternoon. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. So the, the pleasure is all mine and for everybody who is going to be watching and who's going to be listening on the radio. So the pleasure is all mine. So I'm very grateful. Yes. So, so you um, are the granddaughter of John Holt. Yes, and sir. You are, a, are you a um, Lovers Rock singer as well, or are you taking a different part? Uh, yeah, I am. You singing Lovers Rock? Yes. Oh, beautiful. And um, I tell you what, before I even ask you another question, I want to do the same thing. I think it would be highly inappropriate not to get you to do us a little a cappella before we get into this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's why the reggae for yourself and people love it so much. It's all natural around here. <laughs> Uncut. <laughs> okay, I have a favorite. I have a favorite. Okay. My name is Dr. Love. Call my number anytime. <laughs> I'm available. Just call on me. My number. Yeah. Tune. Yeah. That's a tune. That That's is, a tune. Whoa. That is, be that is beautiful. Young. That's beautiful. Tell Come you. on. I'm giving you a whole lot of props right here now. Lots of respect Favorite. I'm sending to you right now. I'm just showing you like literally, boom, go out there, give us something like straight up. You know what I mean? I think it's a beautiful <laughs> thing. So have you started out singing like from very early as well? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Very young. Since and I could talk. And what it is that what and what it is that make you want to sing? Is it because you were aware that your granddad is a legend? You just you just love music because of granddaddy, or did you find it somewhere else? Well, it first started with my father, who is always Brian Ho, always singing mm -hmm. in the house. Always, my father has always been singing to me. He's yeah. always been singing. So from yeah. there, I hear that in the house. Yeah. Now I'm singing, you know. And yeah. then he's always playing my grandfather's tunes. My Listen, from yeah. there, it started up. And then not only that, my uncle sings and everybody else sings. So yeah, it's just all around you. And then I, I go to, I used to go to church with my mom. So I, then I started yeah. the choir and yeah. I just flourished from there, you know? Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So were you born in the USA? Yes, I was, yes. Okay. Hartford, Connecticut. Shout out Hartford, Connecticut. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So you, um, you've you been recording your own music and writing your own music and all of these things? A uh, little bit, a little bit, a mm, little bit, yeah. All right, all right. You'll be hearing something soon. That's a fact. All right. <laughs> you, you don't want me to hear one of your things that you're writing, you know? <laughs> right now? Yeah, like right now. Now The moment is now, like, literally uncut. <laughs> I, I have I have to let you wait for it. It's that good. It's that good. I have to let you wait for it. I'm all sorry. Right, all right. I thought I thought I would try. I thought I would try anyway. But <laughs> I thought I would try. You know. But yeah, no. But that, that's amazing. No, that, that's amazing. Like um. So basically, you um in the singing family, you perform on the tribute show the other day as well. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Yes. Oh, amazing. Amazing. So. What's the what's the plan? What are you what are you hoping to do musically? Um musically, I'm hoping to, you know, uh have a song 
especially with Freddie McGregor. I think he's an amazing, amazing legend as well, alongside my grandfather. So I definitely, I definitely want to get that started mm-hmm. right away, right away. Yeah. And as well as just, you know, expanding and letting people know that John Hope, his, he is still alive through us. Naturally. We are here. That's we true. are here and we are here to keep him alive. That so is, that is, that's my plan. That's my goal with my family for sure. I think, and I think you guys are doing that amazingly well. And I think it is so incredibly important, important to do because, you know, um, that's why I was so excited about interviewing your uncle and your cousin and now you, because like John, you know, as I said, John Holt is an incredible artist, still is. Yeah. And, it, and people need to know that we got the, um second and third generation um here still waving the flag representing him on all of the great work that he has done so this is absolutely incredible and it's i feel extremely blessed to be able to share a moment with you guys and to take it to all of the people who listen or watch the reggae of yourself you know thank you thank you i completely agree i completely agree thank you so much okay so where can people find you you can find me on Instagram mm-hmm. at i.y.e. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that again. Erase, erase that. E.y.e. <laughs> the creator on Instagram and on Facebook, Brianna mm-hmm. Holt. And also on SoundCloud, yeah. Brianna Holt. Amazing. And how it's- do you spell that, Brianna? Come on, spell it out for all of us. B R I A N N A, and you already know the Holt, H O L T. Excellent. Yeah, I got to let you do it. Spell it out for the people who is listening and want to yes, make sure indeed. they search for the right person. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Well, Brianna, it has been an absolute joy and a privilege. And I want to wish you and your cousin and your uncle, Juno Holt all of the blessings there is and i look forward to hear what you guys come with and i know you're saying you got these big plans coming especially in that um true and freddie mcgregor that you want to do as well and i personally will be watching out for you and i think i'm going to find you on the internet and follow you too just to make sure i keep an eye on the progress as it goes you know what i mean Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I thank you for having me on here today. Thank it's a you. pleasure. Thank well, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to see you again soon. Thank you. You too, sir. You too. Thank you. Take Blessings. care. Bye-bye. Blessings. Blessings. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.